dragon to the next episode. I am the frog, and uh, God, we talked about the big day has arrived. Things. I can finally smurf out the smurfizer. Uh, we spoke about how hilarious it is that the smurfs unintentionally curse out everything everywhere. Like, their whole entire deal is to, like, be as unoffensive as possible, yet their act of replacing words with smurf is, like, just that. It just, it just, it just, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just yeah! a jolly good time. Um... And uh, I spoke about really briefly at the beginning of that episode that growing up I was a fan of the Smurfs, but I wasn't allowed to let that fan. Holy flag. Smurf! What are those? They look like they've been contaminated too. The a blast that? from the Smurfizer should do the trick. You look like you should be called Vile Balls. Oh. Hello there, Vile Balls. Vile Balls. Vile Balls. It was Mario and Sonic. Like, there was one time I was caught drawing Smurfs in a book, and somebody was like, Ew, you like the Smurfs? And I was like, Yeah, I fucking like the Smurfs. And, like, I got belittled pretty harshly about it. And, like, nowadays, I don't care. Like, your opinions about me do not well, matter. Well, Smurf me down. Oh Those must God. be the materials that Handy was talking about. If I collect enough of them, he'll be able to enhance the Smurfizer. Dude, like, the phrase blow me down is not even a bad thing, but like, by you smurfing it, you turned it bad. Like, your, your censoring is working in the opposite of what you wanted to do. Oh god. Awesome! Awesome! The Smurfs say awesome now! Tubular! Dude! Bodacious! I want a Smurf Smurf and the Smurf with the Smurf on the back end of the Smurf. And. <laughs> the fucking hell? Hey Smurfette, did you get the Smurf Raider? The Smurf Raider is a game over the last time. Smurf yes. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great shit there, Smurfette. I can't wait to come over and see yeah. what that kind of Smurf duty you fucking got. <laughs> it's so stupid. It really is, but I love it. Like, I might be mental. And and, and by the way, I looked it up. Uh, this Smurf is not voiced by Seth Green, who also voiced Donkey Kong. Happy, help! A bridge collapsed, and we got trapped here. No need to panic. I'm on my way. I'll Smurf your little bridge problem. Oh, okay. God. The Smurfizer can heal the contamination, but maybe it has other powers too. Let's give that flower a little Smurf. <laughs> Fucking all right. That's logic. Like, they can win so many points from me in the humor category if these Smurfs literally were called NPC Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hefty. That was some magic trick. Oh, it wasn't magic. That was Handy's latest invention. I can use it to Smurf the contamination. It it looks like you can also use so it to much clear flowers. a path. Yeah. Pretty Smurfy, huh? Anything's possible with the Smurfizer. Okay, gotta go. I'll go Did see if there are any more Smurfs to save at the dam. Hefty? Can it make my ex-wife love me, Hefty? I not You can do anything without magic, right? Well, I mean, I said that, but I didn't quite say it. Dead smurf child back to life, Hefty? How do we procreate? I don't know. Maybe we just drink fucking water and we're like, my 
lot of hey, new <laughs> That must be one of those vile critters I heard about. Hmm. Let's see here. It has a mushroom head. Maybe I can jump on it, like the other mushrooms. Here we go. Time to show them what I'm smurfed of. I can smurf myself right now, but I don't have a light. Hey, that thing isn't looking too good. Maybe I should heal it. Ew. It had barnacles for heads. Gross. <laughs> you know one thing I did see in the short clip of uh, the short clip that I saw for the uh, show that was hmm. released last year. Looks like a contaminated heart. I'll uh, heal it right away. There is a pair of more female Smurfs added, but the female Smurf character. FT, can you Smurf me? Oh, this God. is your conscience, FT. You must. Quit Smurfing oh. around, Jokey. Come on, Whack give me that. Head. Give me that Good smurfy talkie. Hello? <laughs> this is Papa Smurf. Can you hear me, Hefty? Papa Smurf? Is that you? I can hear you, but where are you? Inside the Smurf visor. Wait, let me explain. No, you Andy don't. forgot to smurf you about the smurfy talkie. What it's a fuck? device that enables long distance communication. This way we can stay in contact and you can smurf information to us. Oh, Sorry about startling you. You know Jokey. He wanted to smurf a little joke on you. That's all right, Papa Smurf. I'll smurf him a little lesson when I get back. Oh, God. What are you going to do? <laughs> you, you see the problem with using smurf like that? You got it. With great smurf ability comes great fucking smurf. Like, you yeah, <laughs> Your smurf it matters. Like, you gotta be careful with that shit, dude. That's a funny shit. Oh. Uh, by the way, no, I am not on any drugs at all. Like, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do any of that shit. I just have this. This is how my brain. I've actually had a big fucking fantastic time. Like, me and my dad had a fun conversation where he reminded me of a musical band called Jefferson Starship. Uh, originally called Airship, which I did not know. And, uh, I spent like an hour just listening to them. And then, like, I went and made I'm able to just be me, have fun, and not give a crap. And it's fucking brilliant. It's the best. Um, along with that, I started like looking into 
find dateable people, and like that probably is going to throw a wrench in the whole entire thing in my control type thing. But if I find the right person, then that won't be a problem. Uh, like. I'm smurf to see so many wild critters, but I'll be happy to heal them using the smurf visor. Staff, or they don't manipulate you in weird ways. It's it's kind of a complicated thing to talk about because a lot of people will misinterpret what you say almost at times. Where like they will take your legitimately good advice and be like, oh, you don't want to be controlled by this gender for this reason. Well, what are you sexist or whatever? have a lot of self-respect like not only do i have self-respect but i honestly don't feel like i need anybody and did anyone else notice that video glitch yeah um like you seek a relationship because you wish to share the moments of your life that are good Together on goals and move forward and become better people. And I don't know, because I had a trip to fucking Tokyo or something. Um, but a lot of people in today's society are kind of like. There's nothing like a little jump to Smurf that I'm the best at bouncing. Yes, you heard this book club. Um, it's, it's complicated. Like, a lot of people. Hey just guys, how's it going? Oh, hefty. You smurfed here just in time. We can't smurf it anymore. What's the matter? Well, we were smurfing on the dam in peace when want. suddenly a seed <laughs> fell from the sky. Whoosh. We were fucking on the dam. That's exactly what I heard. Anybody else hear that? Shh. Into the ground. Bam. Oh my god. Whoosh. Then Please a strange stop. plant suddenly sprouted. Pop! And it smurfed lazy, and he was sleeping nearby. Shabam! Pow! Blop! Leave! Thank Enough you. with the sound effects. What happened next? Well, we tried to smurf back to the village, lickety split. But we couldn't because of the contamination. But luckily, you came to save us, Hefty. Yeah. It's a good job you can decontaminate the area with the Smurfizer. It's a good job you can decontaminate the area with the Smurfizer. It, uh, Hefty said that. Hefty said, it's a good job. What? Okay, I'm gonna call Papa Smurf with the Smurfy talkie. He'll come Smurf you up with a stork and take you back to the village. In the meantime, I'll go save Lazy. Thank fucking Christ, there was never an adult version of the Smurfs, because and, huh. that would reek of that John to life um, show where the Link character turned gay, and like, God, I, like, I'm a Zelda fan, like, like, that was just, like, his character was just the worst, it wasn't because he was it's because he was freaking... What time zone was he? You named me gay. Like, gay people talk like normal... No! Normal people. They just, they're normal fucking people. They just have 
Hmm. The likes of that must be the weird plant together. those Smurfs were talking about. I'd better Smurf it right away. Like, they don't all talk like prima donnas who... Hello? Papa Smurf? I found the Smurfs at the dam. Smurf the stork to come pick them up. Lazy is still missing, but I'm gonna go get him back. It seems that he's trapped inside a strange plant that smurfed down from the sky. It smurfed down from the sky? Through the clouds? That isn't a good sign. Uh, actually, it was a seed that smurfed down from the sky. I don't have time to explain. Very well. You can smurf me all about it when you get back. However, I would like you to bring me a sample of that plant so that I can study it. No problem, Papa Smurf. See you later. Okay, so I have had gay friends, and they make fun of people. And, yeah. and there's a time and place for it, but like it's very much similar to how values don't act, or how like men who are trying to portray a very specific mentality act. Zelda series as an insult. That's his fucking name. I just remember it. Um, so, like, Link Link comes out with slanted eyes, can't drive, and makes a bunch of. Like, he says car names. Like, Yitsubitsu, Toshiba, and shit like that, in place of actual words. And, like, then there's the slutty short fat chick who's like a Betty Boop person and she's just like one of the worst and the only character that seems to have like any kind of mild intriguing characteristics for um, the princess and maybe the African American uh, representation of those what this smurf can do instead like with this not the life you know it's don't fall asleep like just yet the fun is just beginning a really weird where like it pulls everything and everybody Careful you don't throw in the water, Hefty! I won't be able to come smurf you if you do! Thank you. 
So, Hefty returned with the sample in hand. And let moments actually hit you just right. But, like, if you were to take... So I don't have a map, a chart, or a timetable? This seems so well organized, right? I'll go see Papa Smurf so he can tell me more about this mission. Okay, good to know. Um... I'm like feeling kind of sleepy. Shit. Like, I was talking in Spongebob about how I'm not a big fan. I'm playing as him now. How I'm not a big fan of uh, collect-a-thon games. And I Hello, my Papa Smurf. As you know, I volunteer. Hello there. It's so nice that Papa Smurf players. trusts me. Like, that said, uh, it does make sense. I am like his right-hand Smurf, right? I've accomplished every Mario mission he's Odyssey. ever given me. Um, like, I prefer Mario Odyssey because it's a fun, <gasps> um, fast-paced obstacle course, and there's not a whole emphasis on what you have to collect, when you have to collect it, how you're supposed okay. to collect it. Okay, I have to meet Handy in the clearing and fast. And, uh, with this game, it's just kind of like... I, I still don't know what the seeds are for, um, but I'm collecting them because, like, making the grass kind of is enjoyable. Hefty, can you smurf me? Unfortunately, I can, Brainy. What do you want? There's a vile critter that's hiding in the ground. I'm not sure I can get past. First of all, try to dodge its projectiles. It'd be a shame if it knocked you out. If you approach it, it will hide leaving only a small stem sticking out of the ground. Try jumping on it, smurfing it with a smurf splat. been smurfing on here the vile balls attacked us me i don't like vile balls where are they now i'm ready to smurf them a lesson they've gone they've gone they blocked the path by he sounds just like the voice actor who does leisure cheat larry smurfing a landslide <laughs> hmm me i don't like vile balls and I don't like block passages. Me neither, Grouchy. Maybe you could help me find another way through. Me? I don't like finding other <laughs> ways through. Fine. I understand. I'll do it myself. I don't like anything. I'm Twitter. <laughs> hup, hup, hup. If I could climb up high, I might have enough force to break that structure. I 
Unexpected guest, but I managed to take care of him, <laughs> as you can see. Yes, indeed. So, what did you want to tell me? Is everything smurfing along well? Yes, yes. The smurfs who were trapped in the forest can now return to the village. I'm still heading towards Hanley. Oh, God, Papa Smurf. Everybody's smurfing dead. But then, like, why did Gargano go from wanting them to make gold, which oddly makes more sense than eating them, to wanting to eat them? Like, like, he's a poor wizard, right? Like, in the movies, they say that, uh, Smurf's essence holds, like, untold magic, and that makes way more sense than okay. Now I can move on. I need to reach the high ground. Like, I, I don't remember which curve. It has to be like, it has to be like, she's the one with long hair and Gargamel gains smurfs at hair and is able to use that to power his magical wand. In those life action movies were shit, but they were so shit that they were good. They were entertaining shit. It's like, you go to the circus to see the animals, right? And instead you see a clown being a 
Much nope. bigger than the others. Or maybe I need some new glasses. Like, I don't know how it up. expanded the, the lore of the Smurfs, it gave like an entire village of female Smurfs, which kind of like finally answered the question about how the fucking people procreate. Does not explain where the Smurf babies came from, what the fuck even happened there. Did like Smurfette take a gangbang for the team or something? I don't fucking know. Oh, <laughs> but like, like, the Lost Village was not only a gorgeous CGI movie where it's the fucking Smurfs, they really did need this movie that one, um,
I used to be like, oh cool, low power move. Now I'm like, ah oh, jeez. It, it, it went from being fun to being, oh, here he goes talking about that again. Right. You know, that kind of shit, you know? Like, we get it. You know? Yeah. Right interesting characters. Like, it's the whole entire gay thing. Like, the lesbian gay thing. Like, that's a part of your character. That's not your entire character. It, it should be all of what Is anybody are. there? Hmm, that sounds like Jokey's voice. Let's see what's going on. Like, just because you are a woman, or just because you are a guy, or just because you are trans, just because you are gay, just because you are a lesbian, doesn't mean that's all you are about. And if Help you me, Brady, are please. only about those things, I promise this isn't a joke. Cross yeah. my heart. I feel sorry for you. Because Holy Smurf! If this place is Smurf with contamination, and there's a file trap too. I must hurry before Gargamel arrives. Then don't worry, Jokey. I'll Smurf you out of here. Read a fucking book or something. I don't know. Find someone who can The file trap will open. Intelligent person who perseveres in When there is like everybody is safe, there's no against anything or if you have a very opinion about anything you're seen as the enemy like a really good example okay. of no joke is is Smurf back to the village and I'm free I can continue on my way to do this but there's a non-binary YouTuber who makes some of my favorite content and periodically he does this and those with a good, decent sense to do away with the entire idea. And, like, he doesn't understand how offensive that can come off. And I've been reading in comments trying to warn him about that, but he's actually kind of started gaining a backlash because of it. Like, He's not binary. Good for him. Who fucking cares? But the way that he speaks about Hot other me. genders is kind of worrying. Like, like it honestly feels like he's going out of his way to talk 
down to anybody who identifies as a man or a woman, regardless of the gender that you were born into. Like, he's not against He smurfed a serenade to that magnificent waterfall. That's not okay. That's like, that's like you telling somebody that it's not okay to be white. That's not okay to be tough. Like, you were born Mexican. No, that's, that's not that's Spanish. Like, how are you doing shit? Like, that's like him saying that it's not okay to be born the way you were born. And, like, I know he doesn't think that way, at least I hope he doesn't think that way, he doesn't strike me as a kind of person who is in one non-binary because if he did that, that would be very fucking stupid. Awesome. Like, one of my favorite characters is, um, I think his name is Love Heart. I haven't and watched the show in years. Um, it was a Doctor Who episode where he runs into someone else who has the ability to time travel. And this dude is a binary human. And he's such a non-binary human that he'll literally do it with aliens who honestly don't appear to have a gender of any kind. That is not the whole entire entity of his character. Because he is an interesting character. He is a swashbuckling person who is really cool. And the only aspect about him that's non-binary is what he sticks his dingus into. Like, and you can kind of argue that the doctor himself or herself is a freaking non-binary Hey, entity. I can do I a smurf splat on those mushrooms. It would launch me even higher into the air, right? Like, maybe it's like reproduce like dogs. I don't know. Um, like, sexuality should never be what your entire personality is. I'm straight. I am a straight man. And I like boobs. Fits ass. And like, I love flirting and being romantic and shit. But my personality is an artist, a goofy person, someone who likes frogs. I, and I, I'm cold on the channel. Hello? You know, I do jazz shit. The rat isn't um, at the dock. The rat isn't at the dock. Is that code? Like, your goose is cooked? No, it isn't code. Our raft has disappeared. Handy oh. must have taken it to cross the river. Oh, I hope that nothing bad happened to him. Don't worry, Smurfette. I'll Smurf another way to get across. See you later. important to you as a character, like, because to me, everybody is a character, and there's so much more to yeah. the world than just fucking, like, it's like, actually, honestly, that I share a similar opinion with this, so there are people that I know who smoke to the problem that I have with people who take their gender shit too seriously. Your gender should be like the last thing to worry about in life. Unless
Lucifer if you're like trying to stand in some fucking sweaters and like you're trying to fight against like injustice and shit, then your personality isn't your gender, it's that you are a social warrior who wants Guys, to fight against injustice. I've just found what's left of the Do you see how that shit works? Okay. There's a hammer missing from like, the toolbox. I've seen this and I need one to resmurf that broken bridge. Comic strip it must be where, around here somewhere. Um, there's these two Let's gay see if guys I can find walking it. on a street. And they're, they they saw like a poster for a uh, romantic movie that portrayed a man and a woman like dancing together or some shit. And Anna. like um, then this couple who's straight walks up to them and says, Oh, this is my boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And, and then, like, all they, they immediately all become they contaminated say, again. Yeah, hmm. this is my partner. If I swear if a Smurf splat from really high That's up, maybe they won't have the time to become like contaminated again. Walk away, and they say, oh, oh, really? they're always forcing their gay shit in their face. You know what? That's actually a fucking valid point. That's a funny, valid fucking point. It's funny because pointing it out <laughs> and making you aware of this problem is entirely and valid. <laughs> it is 100% awesome. fucked up that, like, someone can't introduce their partner without being judged. Hang on, I got a phone call in one second. Hey, how can I help you? speaking with the owner of the phone. There is nobody by that name who owns this phone. If you're wondering why I answered the phone as robotic and cold as I did, it's because a lot of people are fishing for your voice to specifically say certain lines. That way they can get your information from you. And if you notice, they did, they did not say at the beginning who they were looking for. They instead waited to see who I was. They wanted me to say there my name. It. Now I can get across. Hang in there, Handy. I'm coming. And that it's a form of data phishing. Because if they got my name and my phone number, and then they go on Facebook and they get my email and all that good shit, they're happy to give me your information in a great way. So I'm very careful about that shit. And ever since I started doing YouTube seriously, I've been getting a lot of calls like that. And it's just something I was taught when working in human resources to be very careful how you answer a phone because giving out your personal Hello, Papa Smurf. Is I found a Smurf caught dangerous. inside a vile trap. That's awful. Quickly, you have. So, like, if you answer a phone, especially for a number you don't recognize, especially for 1 800 numbers, any number that is, like, Unrecognized. Do not elect the personal information. But yeah, um, it's important to have a personality. Ouch! I have been told I am this, that, and the other thing. Now, whether or not I am this, ouch, but I am told. I don't know. Personality is something that. Stop. 
algorithm said that you are this. And just, I don't understand that. I don't, I really don't. Like, people ask me, what's my star oh, sign? thank you, like, Brainy. You saved my matter? life. <laughs> what happened to you? A vile trap attacked us in the clip. Like, it doesn't matter what my star sign is. And they're like, oh, you are a this? That means you are a this person. I'm like, actually, no, that's not how I am at all. And they're like, really? Your star sign? I'm like, my star sign has nothing to do with who I am as a person. The entire concept of star signs actually hurts my head. But if you like that idea, then have fun with that as long as you don't force it down my throat. Like, you can attempt to understand me using a star sign, but I can literally take any star sign, remove the name of the star sign, and then it would apply to everybody. Oh, you are a person who likes to have fun, but you also like to have sleepy times and can be kinda grumpy. Oh, everybody? <laughs> Enjoy going out, but you also like staying in. Why, thank you, Mr. 50-50. That sounds like everybody. <laughs> like, they all really do break down into that kind of nonsense. And, like, I'm not gonna tease you for liking star signs. Because, like, fucking do whatever the hell you want. Just don't force me into that category, you know? Like, don't. Hello, guys. Don't. Can you smurf me? Second. This is You're empty. Like, oh. He, Are you calling because you smurfed he, your leg? He, he doesn't like this. That means he has to hate this. Cause like. What? No. How could you say that? I'm telling Papa Smurf. I'm calling to smurf you that I saved someone. You should all be proud of me. But I have some bad news. Handy got smurfed by a file trap. Holy Smurfs, you have to do something before Gargamel finds him. Don't worry. I'm going to look for him at once. You'll tell Papa Smurf that I'm smurfing great on my mission, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell him. It totally sounds like Seth Rogen. How the fucking wax is this supposed to work? The timer does not give me enough time. It's not an accumulated time either. I guess I just can't fucking do whatever the hell that is. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and split for a bit. Why is Smurfs bringing this out to me? Um, do whatever the hell you feel like doing. Be whoever the fuck you want to be. I don't really give two shits left or right. But it really comes down to it. If you're non-binary, don't force your non-binary beliefs onto other people. If you're straight, don't do that. If you're gay, don't do that. Like, don't force who you are onto other people. Because no one likes that. There isn't a person alive who likes that. If your intent is to raise awareness for being non-binary and to say that it's okay to be non-binary, awesome. That's a worthwhile thing to do. Do that. But to say that it's a good sense to disregard the genders of man and female then you might as well get rid of all genders. Because if two are bad, the rest are bad too. And that goes especially for helicopters. <laughs> I'm not fucking shitting you. There's a gender where people are like, I'm a helicopter. I just once spoke to a man who thought he was a lamb. God damn, the bus is weird. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. 